Aloha, it's Tani here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make ondagi. Ondagis are sweet, deep-fried donuts. They are popular in Hawaii and are usually consumed during the Okinawan festivals. They are shaped like a golf ball with a crunchy texture on the outside and are sweet and fluffy in the inside. Here are the following ingredients. This recipe is enough to make about three dozens of ondagis. In a large bowl, add together the dry ingredients. Flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. Whisk it until all of the ingredients are mixed well. Set aside. Combine the wet ingredients in a medium-sized bowl. The evaporated milk, water, vanilla extract, oil, and eggs. Mix it well. In the bowl with the dry ingredients, form a well. Then pour in the wet ingredients in small increments and slowly mix in the dry ingredients. Keep folding the ingredients together until the wet ingredients are finished and the dough starts to form a consistency like sticky play-doh. Heat a wok or pot with enough oil to deep fry the ondagis. Make sure to heat the oil to around 330 degrees. Remember the oil will cool down as you add in more of the dough. Have a bowl with water and some oil on the side. Dip your hands into the water and grab a handful of the dough, squeeze it in your palm to form a ping pong size from between the thumb and index finger. Either cut off the dough from between the fingers or use your opposite index finger. Drop it in the oil and let it cook for about 8 minutes or until it is golden brown. The bowl of water is to make the dough stick less to your hand. You can tell if the ondagi is ready by piercing it with a skewer, and if it comes out clean, then it is ready. Set it on a wire rack or plate lined with paper towels. Sometimes when forming the ondagis, it leaves behind a tail, which most love to eat because it's so crunchy. It will take time and practice to get a hang of it. If you are not comfortable using your hands, you can use a cookie dough scooper. I have to say, eating on doggies fresh is the best. It can last for a few days before it starts to go stale. Other than that, serve it immediately and enjoy this onalicious on doggy. If you enjoy this recipe, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any upcoming recipes. Mahalo 